With the rise of technology, topics that were once only pictured in science fiction movies are now being discussed and implemented throughout the world. Hoverboards, 3D printers, face screenings, and air touch technology are gadgets that we use without thought that were once just sci-fi technology. But what about the topics that deliver ethical concerns such as cloning and genetic engineering? Do we have the right to change and modify DNA to create the quote-unquote perfect human? This is a big discussion all around the world right now, yet it is a very real discussion in the deaf community. For years, the medical industry has developed new technologies such as hearing aids and cochlear implants to try to fix deaf people. So, with the new age of genetic engineering, it, began, it begs the question, are deaf people and sign language worth preserving? When proposing this question to the majority of the hearing community who have not been exposed to the deaf community, their answer consisted of a few major topics, one being that the ability to hear or not to hear is an ability. Since it is something that can be fixed quickly and easily, it would make it easier to live in the world that we live in now. Second being the fact that it is more of a medical topic versus a community or cultural topic and that we should look at it more as that. Lastly, the majority believe that if it was them or their child, they would pick the hearing route as it leads to more opportunities and more areas for expansion into other cultures. After hearing their views and perspectives about the deaf culture and deaf people as a whole, I propose the question, are hearing people and their culture worth preserving? Surprisingly, this hit the majority of people very hard. Reactions such as, why would you ask that stupid of a question? And of course we are worth preserving. Were automatic defenses spurted out by these people. But why are we not asking these questions? Language and culture are inseparable. They are passed down between countless generations of people. Asking whether deaf culture, deaf people, and sign language is worth preserving is like asking if French or Chinese culture is worth preserving. Deaf people have values, traditions, norms, and identities that are just as strong rooted as their language. These five aspects all work together to create a community based on acceptance, passion, and drive. Deaf people's language, roots, and history can be compared to any other country's or religion's culture. If anything, deaf people are more accepting than other cultures as their culture cuts across race, creed, nationality, socioeconomic, and gender lines. In addition, this diversity allows deaf people and their culture to bring so much value to the world. On top of deaf literature, poetry, art, theater, and music, deaf people provide the most expressive and emotional communication. Beautiful shapes, movements, emotions, facial expressions, and eye contact make up their language. Not only that connects them to countless individuals throughout the country, but also around the world. Deaf people can share experiences with individuals all around the planet using sign language. No other language can do or say that. Not to mention, sign language is useful for all people regardless of ability. It can benefit individuals in all weeks of life. Finally, I beg the question of why would taking away a culture with such strong cultural roots with the beautiful community and language benefit our world. I can guarantee it would not benefit the deaf adults and children who use vibrant language every single day to be successful throughout life. It would not benefit the hearing people who could interact, watch, and learn from countless deaf leaders. So who would it benefit? Thus, when the question regarding genetic engineering and people rise, we should be asking, are hearing people and their language worth preserving? Thank you.